I'm going to tie a Griffin's knot. Why am I tying it? It's a simple fly to tie. It's one of the top 25 uh, flies that catch a lot of fish in Missouri. And I'm also tying it for a YouTube video so that I can uh, use it in a class. We are going to teach a bunch of college students um, the basics of, of fly fishing. And they will be tying some flies. So we will do this Griffiths knot. To begin with, I put a thread base on, a size 14 hook. And I'm going to uh, place on a grizzly feather on the back. Uh, tie that in. Once I got that tied down, I'm going to take a piece of peacock curl. As I said, this is a, a pretty simple fly. Tie in this peacock curl. And I'm going to bring my thread to the front. With the peacock curl, I'm going to wind it forward. Build in the body. caught the hook there. I'm surprised it didn't break. As you wind it forward, it's going to make a nice hairy looking body. You don't need a lot of peacock. One peacock curl will do it. Remember not to crowd the eye of the hook. That's going to be your tie off area where we're going to build a head. Well, you need to have it pretty close. I think that's good. So bring it up. I'm going to take and tie down that peacock curl. I do a three on one side, two on the other, then come back. Now I'm going to cut off that curl. And it'd be nice if you get in the practice starting to Always do a half hitch. I'll do two half hitches with my whip finisher. Keep that peacock curl from coming loose. Now I'm going to wind my grizzly feather forward. And I like to keep them pretty close to one another as I wind it forward. We want this to sit on top of the water so the more of the barbels of the feather, the hackle, that you have, it should sit right up and float on top of the water nicely. Oh, that'll happen sometimes. But don't worry, you can pull it and start over again. And don't get discouraged if you, the hook breaks your hackle or your peacock. It will happen. I'm back to using my fingers again. We're winding it forward. And I'm getting close here to the end. It looks good. Maybe once more round. Hold it up. I'll go three times to capture it. And I like to shorten my thread a little bit. It's always easier to work with a short thread. I wind it a couple times in the front. I'll trim off my feather. Now I'm going to whip finish. My fly. I give it a little black head. Looks pretty good. Now you don't have to, but I always like to put a little bit of Dave's flex cement on. 
You don't need much because it is a small fly, but it's not going to hurt the feathers at all. It'll go right through the feathers, but it'll keep the feathers flexible. And that is the Griffin's gnat. Thanks for watching.